Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be on the new US Premium Tier 8 tank, the AMBT. Now, this is the this is currently in the Under the Hammer event, and it's finishing in a couple of hours. So hopefully, this comes out before you finalise your bids. All right, uh, this is just really first impressions, um, but I'm afraid, yeah, it's not going to be a great story from my view. Um, it's a lot of weaknesses with the tank and, and it's got some positives, so we'll cover both, but we'll try and do that fairly quickly. All right, so I guess the first thing, if we just sort of go in order of, of the descriptions up here, um, the firepower, the aim time, sorry, not the aim time, the reload time is probably the biggest call out there. So you can see 17.1, 13.5, 10.8. So this is an auto reloading mechanism, same as the Progetto, but then that gives you a total reload of over 41 seconds. So if you're using all three shells in the clip to get your 1,000 and a bit um, clip potential, uh, then you've got a very long wait in between the, the shells. And also the intercrypt time, which is three seconds. And again, this is with crew skills and food, etc. cetera. Um, you're waiting three seconds between shells, which is a fairly long time to wait there and sort of align with that, the aim time, 2.4 seconds. Um, it's a pretty long wait. So you're, you're basically sitting out there in the open um, and you're taking a lot of damage in it at that time or potentially a lot of damage from tanks that are observing you. Um, and we'll get on to why that's the case in a second. Now, minus nine degrees of gun depression sounds like a good thing, but the shape of the tank, how far back the turret is, um, means that uh, you do expose a fair bit of your hull uh, if you're trying to use that gun depression. And so it's not as useful a statistic as it sounds, um, particularly over the front. And if you tie that in with the armor, which we'll come to, it, uh, yeah, it's not a great result. Um, so the other thing there, the dispersion 0.32, and we've got the, um, the improved aiming there as well. So dispersion is not great, so it's not really getting set up well for sniping as such. You can see the average DPM there, 2,000 uh, per minute. So armor, 70 on the hull, 40 on the on the front of the hull, and 40 on the sides, and 30 on the rear. So that's really nothing. Any hit on the hull, and you're going to be overmatched um, on the sides by. Um, 122 millimeter guns and uh, the, the front's not even with the potential. You might get a ricochet at a very um, sharp angle, but then you're probably also exposing your lower front plate there, which uh, is always going to take damage. Even though the turret arm has got 250 on the front, um, you've got all the normal weaknesses of the side and, and rear, um, and you pretty much don't bounce anything in it. Um, so other things, just the tallness of the tank is affects the um, camouflage rating. Um, so the 27 the stationary and 21 on the move, it's a lot worse than other tanks of the same class. And we'll say the Progetto is probably the, the standard there. Um, so you're really not uh, going to be um, yeah, using your camo rating for any, anything really useful. Um, and Probably the other big weakness is the crew training. So it's got a crew of four, but there's no crew that this matches up with um, in the US medium line, apart from the M48 pattern. And for that, the radio operator skills on this tank are on the commander and they're different on the M48 pattern. So you've really got to retrain crews in between this. So you're not really going to run this as a crew trainer. All the other crews have got five crew members with a separate radio operator. So that's not a great um, vehicle in for a crew training. So on the positives probably is the ammunition. Um, standard pen is 215 and the um, premium pen is 278 and you get APCR as premium as well which is good and a nice shell velocity of 1492. Um, and view range also is not bad, 380 is the base so you've got the potential for getting decent viewing but it's not a, um, it's called a support medium tank but uh, yeah we haven't really found many applications for it that way. Anyway, wanted to give you this quick overview. Um, it might affect your bidding. So um, personally, I'm not going to put any uh, free XP down on this tank, um, but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, if you like the video, however, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing. We'll have more good content to follow and thanks for watching.